name. Um, Sharkhead, uh, he made his wrong. He did it all wrong. Um, the barrel and the mag, and it was wrong. It was all wrong. Bitch, please. Listen, I'm gonna show you both how it's done. <laughs> guys hope you like that new intro that i just came up with uh, but yeah as you might have known i'm doing the honey badger uh, real life gun build uh, i'm mostly doing these until i come out with an awesome build so the honey badger uh, has a built-in suppressor short barrel to half extend magazine stock is pretty good that's how it looks in real life um so yeah just so you see and you're gonna see my build in black attribution in a moment see you guys in blacklight Hello everyone, it's the Kick Freak back with another block retribution video. Today I'm going to be doing the Honey Badger. Uh, really like gun build. Now, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I made like a little fun intro. Uh, if you don't know, that was a video from Bro Pro. He, I think, still records block retribution, I'm not sure. But yeah, he did like a real life gun build of the Honey Badger. He did it in a different way. In a couple of days, or yeah, in a couple of days, you're going to see a video of. Uh, a little challenge, a little different video that I made. I'm laughing but because it, it'll be funny. So, so you got you, you know, you're gonna see that video. But this is my, uh, this is my build for the M4X. Now it's different to most builds. Now, uh, if you saw in the beginning of the video, I went on Google, searched Honey Badger, and you just saw the picture. So, uh, the Honey Badger has a built-in suppressor, as you know. Um, it has a short barrel, has a different mag, it isn't the long one, it's something, maybe if you take this mag, cut it off at this line right here, let me just zoom so you can see, see if you cut it off at this line, maybe like that, or maybe like halfway. Uh, the stock is a little bit different, but the sight is, stock sight, so, receiver is the M4X, uh, Briar XS suppressor, now of course I could have used other suppressors like the Armcom MT4, maybe the my Frontier SRM, but this one, because uh, the suppressor goes like into the barrel, this one I think looks the best. Um, so, move on to the barrel, Light Sky Raider, uh, times 15. Now why I chose this instead of maybe some of these, some of these grooved ones, maybe some of these, maybe this one, this one looks decent, but one thing that you have to note is that this has a short barrel it doesn't have a long one if I used this I could have but nope it doesn't look the same so this what whoops <laughs> this one the light sky raider is the barrel to go Vulcan STD 04 XL for the magazine or the XM magazine of course I could have used maybe the Vulcan STD well this one I don't know how to call this one or maybe the default one maybe to the quick mag you know but this one I personally think is the best one. Uh, default um, sight now, of course, you could have used the uh, flip up, but this sight is just bad as shit. As I said, I will be doing the default one unless I can replicate the scope better than the default one. Now, the stock uh, the stock is the whole breach TS uh, MA CQCB. Uh, now, this is the closest you can get because. For the real life gun, it has something like this, a little bit smaller, and you can like retract it, I think, inside of the gun, but I'm not sure. Uh, of course, I could have used maybe the Crane Cogs GX. Uh, this looks, mm, you know, it looks close to the uh, hull breach, but they're a little bit different, so I go, uh, I went with the hull breach. The weapon tag will be the three dog tag. If wait, or the is the 8 bolt better? No, they're both kind of the same, virtually. Um, so, that will be it. And the Desert Camo is the one that I'm going to use in Gore Sandstorm because uh, most of these M4Xs have like the Desert Camo on them. Well, you saw the picture, so. Uh, on my favorite map, Halo Deck, where is it? If we cannot, we're gonna. Never mind, there it is. So, armor build, I don't really need to talk about that. That's not in the real life world, world, real world. And yeah, one new thing about uh, one, well the game is starting, uh, one new thing that I'm gonna be doing is airsoft. Uh, 
Sadly, I won't be recording that because uh, I have a 2 megapixel camera and that's like the best thing I have, so... <laughs> uh, sadly, and I don't have a GoPro. I would rather record it, um, but sadly, I cannot. So yeah, that's one of the new things that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing that with my mates. So it will be fun. You know, you get, uh, you get, you can rent out guns for one round. One round costs, I think, um, no, 50 or 40 bucks. Uh, for American standards, but you get a free gun for no, actually, no, three rounds are fifty dollars. Yeah, three rounds are fifty dollars. You get a free gun, free secondary, and armor. Well, you know what you what I mean when I say armor. It really isn't armor. It's just freaking. Um, don't know actually what to call that. Uh, but yeah, great for this guy. He knows how to throw nades like an idiot. I thought that was a. Well, I was like, uh, how did he get a freaking deployable turret already? Um, so, never mind that. Pros and cons of this gun. Um, once I get the detoxified, I'll tell you. So, pros and cons of this gun. What are the pros? What are the cons? Uh, the pros are the 45 damage that it has. It usually has a little bit lower than that, but I was able to bring it up to 45. The suppressor uh, makes. Sorry, I'm really. Come on. Really isn't easy fighting that much people while talking. Uh, but yeah, pros: 45 damage, low recoil, lower low spread move. I'm trying to say this as clear as possible. Uh, and really, really high accuracy. Uh, bad sides are. I'm trying to think of some, but there aren't any virtually. Uh, you saw by the stats, you can judge it by yourself. Uh, that's what I personally think of the gun. This gun is is epic. As you know, I usually do not play the guns. This gun I've played for five or six rounds and it's been pretty good. Just to see how it is, because uh, I have a I had a different uh, M4 X build that I maybe you know I was like thinking, should I actually do this? Should I do this build because the the, mu uh, the muzzle that I used was the MT4, and it didn't look like the original Honey Badger. And then I decided let's go with this you know, smaller rounded suppressor, and it turns out to be really epic. Um, the gun is really good with the extended magazine because it has, uh, because of its increased fire rate, is really really good. No 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 no! Oh, dang it! One thing that I hate, I will need to build my armor a little bit better. The run on this is decent, but not really good. So, let's do this. I know, no, stupid freaking grenade thrower bitch. Sorry, I just got kind of pissed off. So, 7-4, let's go. Really, dude, there was a guy shooting you, and like... Um Okay, that was not expected. So, let's do this. Most of this commentary will be you know, quiet. Or, no. He almost actually killed my ass. No camping for you. But technically he was mostly in front. I'm actually moving much faster now. Um, holy sh! I was able to hit him in the head and I wasn't even looking. Well, I kind of died there again. Uh, but yeah, we're 10 and 5, that's pretty decent, I might say. Uh, let's go upstairs. I wanted to say I want to respawn, but at that exact moment I respawn. 2, 1, there you go. Um, let's go upstairs and dominate these motherfuckers from above. Well, at least try to. There goes one. Rotate. There goes the other one. And there, he knows I'm up here. Throw a grenade in. Come on, where you at? Bye bye. So it doesn't seem like I'm a camper, I'm gonna go up here. And 
Never mind. Let's go down. Activate the HRV jammer once again. I was pretty close to hitting that guy, but no cigar. So, let's see, there's a guy coming through us here. No bunny hopping for you, dickhead. <laughs> ooh, 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 that was pretty fast. Considering I'm gonna be buying a new mouse soon. Nice one, nice one, that was really smart. 15 and 16, I'm gonna be buying a new mouse for you guys. I already did one, this video gets uploaded, but for me, I didn't sadly. So, that'll be it for the video. As you saw, the gun was pretty good. Let's see how much left. Okay, four minutes, I can handle that. I'll try to upload this video as fast as possible. Uh, I mostly do with my videos. Um, I don't even have a lot of videos recorded. I have three more videos in my recorded section uh, thing so yeah usually upload as I said I tried upload two a week but uh, tomorrow which will be on Monday the 29th I think or is it maybe the 28th or maybe is it the 30th I don't know really uh, I will be uploading a scar video so it should have it's already on the internet uh, when I talk about this and when this video gets uploaded so yeah, mm, really, I, one thing that I really would love to ask you guys is leave some gun suggestions. What real life guns should I replicate in Black Retribution? Uh, just so it really isn't that hard, but n so it's not that easy, you know, so it's a little bit harder. Now, if I don't do it perfectly, uh, I know on Facebook I have, there's a group called like gamers worldwide there was a guy that said like, the barrel's not right the mouse is not right and your head's not fuck you mate fuck you okay sorry now i got pissed yeah. uh but yeah uh it doesn't need to be per it cannot be perfect not that it doesn't not that i don't want it to be perfect it just cannot let's go with the katana Now it's on. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> Literally, waiting until it reaches and then he shoots me once in the head and I'm dead. But yeah, uh, that's only because the bullpup is OP. And how did he kill three guys with only one hit? Strange, isn't it? That was the worst grenade throw ever. And I don't know even how to throw grenades. Okay, but it's Thank God, that spear. There's no one there. Let's go back here, and the video will be ending soon. So, was able to tag him, and wasn't able to do anything else. So, second place, uh, 18 and 9. Thank you so much for watching this real-life gun build of the Honey Badger. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next Black Retribution video. Don't forget, of course, to leave a like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Join the cake army. See you guys on the next video.